Hey, I'm Eli Johnson with POC Culture. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you, Eli. I'm happy to be here. So let's jump right into it. Was there anything you learned from working on The Incredibles 2 that helped you develop the look for this film? Yes, absolutely. So um, on Incredibles 2, we really pushed artistic direction of fabric, meaning that we wanted to be targeted about where folds would appear when someone bends their elbows or like bends their arm or moves around in their costume. And we took that to a whole new level on Lightyear. Um, our tools team developed new technologies so that we could like artisanally craft like behind the knee wrinkles and like under the armpit wrinkles and elbow wrinkles. Uh, and like tension wrinkles to look just so, so that it would fit into this really detailed world. And then we developed technology so that our simulator could target those shapes. So you still have cloth that's moving in a way that's believable, but that's always trying to track back to these like artisanally hand sculpted shapes. And it was really exciting to see technology that was adopted on Incredibles 2 move us forward in the look of complexity on our shows in Lightyear. Amazing. And you shared how much research you were able to do with the real astronaut suits. What was the most interesting or exciting thing that you learned that you were able to incorporate into Buzz's looks? One of the most exciting things that we learned um, in the research stage is I got to try on a replica spacesuit wow. and like and do tasks with it and like push ups and like perform in it. And it was really exciting to really feel how much structure is underneath those suits, how much life support is in there. If anything goes wrong when you're in a spacesuit, that becomes a tiny spaceship until someone can get to you and help you out. And so like wearing it really informs uh, understanding that these costumes have to have a lot of volume. Even when they're not pressurized, we have to feel all the wires that are underneath. We have to feel all the structure that's underneath. And so um, I got to share that with my team. And whenever like, you know, Buzz is on the planet and he's wearing one of these spacesuits, uh, we got to really make sure that we felt that sense of volume and structure in every shot. And that was super exciting. Amazing. And also we see multiple versions of Buzz's suit throughout the film. How do the suits changes reflect Buzz's character development throughout the story? And what was the process of developing that? So all the changes that we see in Buzz's suit, uh, we know that we have a target where we end up, right? And that's like the Space Ranger costume. We've got to end up there. Yeah. Um, so where do we begin? We begin in the early days of human space exploration. And so it was really, really exciting to think of like, what would the first like spacesuit for a test mission look like on Takani Prime, which is like, you know, uh, doesn't have a lot of resources. They've just crash landed there. So the first suit that they have has to prioritize function over form. Like it still looks cool because we're going to make everything look awesome. But like what's most important is that they get this thing going. So you're going to see pieces like strapped directly to the suit. You're, you're going to see like heavy metal rings. You're going to see all these things that are kind of touch points for like what we've observed in human space flight, like in the Apollo and the Mercury missions. Um, and then like, since we know we have to end up at Space Ranger, what's going to happen along the way? Like in the 10 suits between where we begin and that costume, we get to explore what's going to happen and what's going to change. Um, and the orange suit is this really cool touch point that's kind of like in the middle between these two suits. Like there's more integrated mech and more integrated life support. There's like a big like torso backpack that has the hose, has all this cool stuff. Like the leg greaves take up the whole leg to protect him. It's got an eject harness that's like in the shape of uh, Buzz's trunk for where, he's, where that's gonna end up, which is so cool. Uh, you see the wrist communicator like built into the costume now. And so it's this like really cool touch point of like where this suit is going from the first suit that they make to the Space Ranger costume that we recognize, know and love. Well, your passion absolutely comes through in designing all of these elements and I really look forward to watching the movie Lightyear when it releases. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to seeing it. Thank you for your time, Eli. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you.